I see that I am absolutely not afraid of death, and that is that is completely uh, my view. Because mm-hmm. um, I understand how beautiful it could be. It's just that you know I'm moving. I have to be out of the house at the end of the month, and now he's bedridden. He's aching. He cannot help me. Right. And he will not po- postpone. The move date and ask the buyer to move maybe in January. So now I'm all alone and I cannot get right. three people that offer to help to come over to right. help me pack. And now we isolated, self quarantine for ten days. is is putting a lot of burden on me and pressure on me. Right. It. But in the same time, it's your attitude that you can't control what is going on on an external world. Right. You can reverse time. Mm-hmm. You can influence maybe his decision or how he views things. So this is a great opportunity for you to let go of what appears to be in control. All right, what's going to happen? What is the worst case scenario? What's going to happen if you can't move? We lose the cell. Uh, that's supposed to be close in the end of the year. Okay, so that's one one thing, one possibility, correct? So, let's say that's the worst case scenario. That you move, you lose the cell. How do you know that's not towards your benefit long term? How do you know what is the best thing in your future? It's. <laughs> Actually, he's the one of the one to sell and move, not me. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So maybe the sell doesn't happen, and you end up living here. Yeah. So Which I'm fine. Yeah. So you have no control on the external affairs of the world, but maybe you can. Maybe you can have awareness of your internal affairs of yourself. So. He doesn't want to postpone the date, and he can't help moving. And it's like, okay, let's see what happens. I'm just going to let go. I can sit down here and stress all day long and pull my hair out and cry out and blame him or blame others, or I can just cruise with it and see what's going to happen. Let me just observe what's going to transpire. And in this observation, maybe. All of a sudden, something very valuable appears. Maybe some people show up in your life and help doing all the move. Maybe, maybe all kinds of different things happens. You don't know. But maybe you use this opportunity and you come to the to the academy. You're doing been doing the work. Well, all the work of self-realization you've done. This is a time to demonstrate it. This is a time to be the Buddha. This is the time to be Zen. This is the time to keep your mind here rather than letting your mind going crazy. Because right now your mind's going like, "What's going to happen? How are we going to move? How are we going to do this?" Da, 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 da. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. I don't have no help. Blah blah blah. blah. Your mind's going crazy. So why don't you use this opportunity to be still and surrender to what is? Surrender to whatever is going to happen. Welcome what's going to happen, and know that the Maker, the Boss, God, that has brought you all the way to this point in this life, knows what's the best for you, and will carry you on. Just trust the process. Trust the process. Trust. Because I'm totally stressed right now. Yes. We have to get rid of all of our furniture, and we can't even have people come over to look at our furniture. Then,、buy. then make an executive decision and and take be the boss. Take put the pants on, and be the boss. Call the shots. You decide what to do, because everyone else is sick. And they can't do anything. Make decisions. Say this is it. We're not moving. We're postponing. Or whatever, whatever it is. 
what, whatever that is, whatever, I'm not saying what to do. What I'm saying is be still. Someone in the chaos needs to be still, needs to be collected here. Somebody needs not to identify. Otherwise, all these things we're talking about, it's nonsense. Oh, it's really cute. I go to the academy. I listen to Zarathustra. I listen to Muji. I listen to Eckhart Tolle. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard of these things. But if you're not putting them in everyday living life, you're not applying what you're learning, then they're meaningless. Everything I've been teaching is meaningless. This is a time to be very still, to be Zen. Like the same thing happened to my family last week. That two, two of the cousins, they, they were diagnosed with COVID-19. And then there was like a bomb went off. And it was like an explosion. So right as I'm going to the Thanksgiving uh, gathering that all the family, everyone had gathered from Washington State, from Northern California. It was going to be a this big reunion because my mom's 93. My other, my other aunt is 89, 90. So it was like, you know, in a way, maybe this is the last time. So all the kids, everyone came together and all of a sudden everything got canceled in the, in, in the very last moment and became chaotic and a bomb went off and everyone was freaking out. And for me it was like, I just didn't get involved into the story at all. I just stayed in my center and everyone's running around washing their hands, putting double masks now and double gloves on and then running, going, getting COVID-19 tests. It was like a bomb went off. And in the midst of everything, I'm just like really still, not reacting to any of it. Somebody here who's working on herself or himself needs to remain the Buddha. And you, that's your opportunity right now. This is a golden opportunity for you, my dear, to be the Buddha. Stay still, stay in your center. You are not in control of anything in this life anyway. No matter how much it appears that you're in control, that is absolute illusion. None of us have ever been in control of anything. It just appears to be that way. Okay? All right. Thank All right. you. All right.